is good YouTube it's your girl brings and I am doing something today that we have not done in a long long time you guys so my grass guy is outside cutting the grass I swear he pops up the most randomest times y'all to cut the grass and it's always when I'm either on the phone I have an interview or I'm about to do a, like a review on the TV so you guys, we are doing a horror movie review. Like, I don't know how I lost track of this happening, but there is a none to movie coming. Yes, you guys, I know I'm late. Yes, guys, I know it was announced already. Yes, guys, I know it was in production after the first nun movie ended. Okay, okay, I didn't know the trailer was out yet, okay? Like, people don't promote stuff well enough. I had to basically see like a glimpse on it i think i was on youtube or something and i was like nope i don't want to see it you guys because i'm going to do a reaction to it so today you guys we are going to do a reaction video to this nun trailer i think i'm going to also follow up on it as well when i go see it in theaters because i will be in theaters when it comes out that weekend that is my hot mom weekend tk free weekend Seriously, so mommy i will be in attendance to see the Nun 2, September 8th and 9th, <laughs> one of those days. One of those days, it might be after work, it might be on Saturday. So y'all, I don't know. I'm in between right now. It actually might be on Saturday because I think I'm taking my hair down <laughs> next week. So I might just keep it up, you know, and take it down that Sunday, y'all, just for this reason. Just for this reason, y'all. I don't know. But we will see. Yeah, we will see. So, we are about to do this reaction video. So, let's get into it, you guys. I'm excited. You guys know I love horror movies. You guys know that I love Conjuring, Insidious, all of that stuff, y'all. So, we are about to get into it. Let's do this. All right, y'all. I don't know how good <laughs> I don't know how good this is going to be. I am still getting used to using like my directors cut on my phone um i thought i would be able to like zoom in on this and kind of zoom out on it but here's what happens when i take the larger screen it looks like that so it probably would work if i sat on the couch in the back that actually does work it's still quite a bit of screen missing though Yeah, we still got okay, y'all. We we just gonna we just gonna <laughs> we gonna do what we need to do to get it done. So make sure my volume's up. Okay, let's do it. Something wrong with this girl. Something doesn't feel right. I knew it. I knew it. This thing has come back for me. Yeah, she got unfinished business, girl. She about to get you from the first one. Bruh. They gonna redo that scene again? She about to come out the book. 
like she did the picture in the conjuring. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! Bro! That's about to be so good. Bruh. That's about to be good, y'all. That's about to be good. I do like the fact that they're like addressing the fact that she has unfinished business with um the nun who had to take her vows. I forgot her name in the first movie, but that was the one who she was after in the second movie. Um, she's basically, she's basically out to get her because she pretty much took her out in the first movie and now she out for Bruh. And now she out <laughs> to, to get revenge back. So I like it. I wish that they would have like minimized redoing like similar scenes from like the first movie like the whole nun congregation when they were possessed by the demons and surrounding old girl that was in the first movie bruh and so now in this preview they're doing it again but let me look at this little Warner Bros. trailer. It's like a minute and 38 seconds, you guys. And check this out and see if it's like the same thing or if it's going to be something a little bit different. So let's see y'all. That's dope how they created that out of magazines though. That was that was some dope art. I think there's something here. That's not meant to be. Yeah, it's the same. This demon was once an angel. Rejected by God. So it's basically the same exact trailer. It's basically the same exact trailer. Let me get out of this mode real quick. All right, y'all. So it's the same exact trailer. Like, I don't know why they like posting stuff like multiple times and it's the same exact thing, like the same times that it's posted. So it looks like it's good. Am I the only one that's seen like the little boy little demonic boy like who does it's a movie that he looks dead on a character from what is it called i can i can see it like i can picture it clearly but i for the name of me i cannot the omen like doesn't he look like the little boy from the omen was it the omen i feel like it was the omen no, it wasn't the omen, you guys. The the um Okay, let's 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 bring it back. <laughs> let's bring it back so I can show you guys. Where was it? Was it right here? Is that power back? This demon was once an angel. Rejected by God. We just passed him. Okay, 
All right, y'all, this little boy, and I just figured out like what movie it just figured out. Um, look. I'm scared too. That little boy right there, right there, y'all. Now, do y'all remember the movie, um, The Unborn? The Unborn, when Jumby wants to be born now, um, the whole twin thing. Y'all tell me, Jumby, the demonic Jumby version that is haunting his twin that he died during birth while she survived tell me that don't look exactly like his demonic spirit tell me that does not look dead on it you guys tell me that don't look dead on him so so for for a minute there i thought this trailer was fake just for that that little piece right there because it looked like they probably took it from the movie the unborn popped it in here and just to make her trailer because you two be doing stuff like that People on YouTube be doing something like that just to get views. So I had to make sure it was real, y'all. I know it's real <laughs> because there's a real live trailer out here. And not only that, I looked up Showtimes <laughs> for two weeks from now. And it's already on the show, time, show list, y'all. So yes, I will be in attendance, you guys. I will be in attendance. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Fingers crossed. I said the same thing about Insidious Red Door. I was so geeked for that movie to come out, y'all. So geek to see it. Went to go see it on the first day that it premiered, like right after work, y'all. Get there and it didn't really live up to my expectation, you guys. It was quite a disappointment. You know, I was I was happy to see um like little extra horror added to it. I was, but I really don't like how they made the dad out to be like the whole bad guy in the movie, knowing that he was possessed by a ghost from the further. Knowing that he was possessed by the lady in the black dress. But the kids and the mom seen him so negatively that she divorced him. And they had that image that he was trying to kill. He was trying to kill both the kids. All because he was possessed. He was not in control of his actions. Like he had no control over that. Do you think if he was in his right mind and he would try to kill his kids? That man loved his kids. He loved his family. Okay? He didn't ask to have those gifts. He didn't ask to be able to dream walk. Okay? He risked his life to go save his own son. And then wound up coming back with a spirit attached to him. That's not his fault. It's not his fault. But I feel like the movie wound up painting him so negatively that he had to basically redeem himself throughout the whole movie, which he does at the end. But like, why? What was the overall reason to pay him this negatively without mentioning that, hey, yeah, your dad had this negative spirit attached to him. Yeah, he could possibly have another one attached to him, but like, we're going to support him and be there for him or like be separated for a while. Like, you don't have to divorce, like divorce for what? It's not his fault. But like, that's one of the things that made me mad about that movie, you guys. And then not only that, I don't feel like the freaking Red Demon had enough enough screen time. Like, why have him possess Dalton's body all the time? Like, where is he at for real, for real? He had, like, a few little scenes and then flashbacks. And that's another thing. Like, y'all, it was a lot of flashbacks in this movie. A lot of flashbacks. And I'm like, if y'all y'all are supposed to be a continuation, a continuation of the first family in this movie a continuation why are y'all flashing back back and forth like people who haven't seen the first and second movies they need to go back and see the first and second movies like don't be <laughs> showing me no flashbacks i already know what happened in the first and second movies so if they don't know what happened in the first and second movies they need to go rewatch it and then come see this movie like that kind of pissed me off y'all to no end see but we'll see mommy it was okay don't give it that it was okay let's go could it be better? Yeah. Yeah. It could have been 80% better. Yeah. But, like, it was cool. I was excited to see the family back. Definitely excited for that. Yeah. But, yeah, you guys, I've been rambling. <laughs> I just wanted to get on here, you guys, and do, like, a new updated 
um, review video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the actual movie review. I will try to do it the same day as the movie coming out. If not, you guys, it'll be up soon. <laughs> Just bear with me. Like, I still have videos that I'm putting out now. Um, anyways, y'all. <laughs> let me know if you like horror movies let me know if you guys are going to see this movie too comment like subscribe check in with your girl and until next time see ya